Hello, I'm Brandon Miller from the Journal of Chemical Physics, published by the American Institute of Physics. Today, I'm at Boston University with Dr. John Straub, an associate editor for JCP. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Straub. Oh, thanks for having me. Can you tell me a little bit uh, about your research background? Sure. So, my, my research now is in the broad area of uh, biochemical physics, uh, chemical physics, but focused on understanding biological systems, especially proteins and thermodynamics, statistical mechanics, uh, their dynamic properties and how structure, molecular structure, uh, influences and determines the function of, of biological systems. So, um, but I, I didn't start in that field. I actually started working with uh, Professor Millard Alexander at the University of Maryland, where I was an undergraduate, doing research in quantum mechanical scattering theory um, of atoms. And then I went to work with Bruce Byrne at Columbia University in chemical physics and their chemical physics program and worked on reaction dynamics of liquids, so a few more atoms and a little bit more complexity of a kind, more in the area of statistical mechanics. And then as a postdoc, I worked with Martin Karplis at, at Harvard for the first time thinking about biological systems and proteins, but really from the point of view of thinking about how can fundamental techniques developed in chemical physics be used to address problems in biology. So what is your role now at, here at Boston University? So I have a number of uh, different roles. So I, uh, I, I teach and everything from freshman chemistry to graduate statistical mechanics. And I uh, am currently chair of the department. I have been for three years. And, uh, and then I have an active research group working in a number of different areas in biochemical physics. Uh, including quantum mechanical modeling of short time dynamics and spectroscopy in biomolecules to looking at protein folding and misfolding and aggregation where we tend to use more classical models and larger scale simulation techniques to, uh, to understand those fundamental properties of how sequence and forms function and structure in proteins. And then we also have a long history of algorithmic development, uh, developing new computational methods for dynamical simulations and, uh, and sampling of complex systems that are needed for statistical mechanical um, evaluation of, of, uh, of proteins and their thermodynamic properties. And so those are all key areas as I see it in the journal. Uh, where there's a long tradition of using fundamental techniques in quantum mechanical modeling, spectroscopy, and statistical mechanics to understand anything from, from very small systems where you can have a very high level of theory to more complex systems where there's more approximation, but trying to maintain the, the sort of rigor that we um, aspire to in, in chemical physics. So in general, the, what are some of the, the hottest topics in biochemical physics? Right, well I think uh, that right now there's a, a renaissance for the use of physical methods, particularly experimental but also computational techniques to be able to explore questions that are important to biology um, at a level that we haven't been able to achieve previously. So there's been a long history of course going back many decades of carrying out experimental physical chemistry and chemical physics and also theoretical methods uh, to study biological molecules. And, uh, and, and a, a few things that have uh, happened recently, of course, is the enormous power of modern computation that allows us to, to use fundamental methods, whether it's quantum chemistry or statistical mechanics, uh, to treat far larger systems, to carry out better sampling, a higher level of theory in quantum chemistry, where we can access molecules on the size of, that play an important role in biology. And at the same time, in experiment, there's a, a, a really an explosion, I would say, of the use of techniques, experimental chemical physics techniques, spectroscopy, vibrational and electronic spectroscopy, particularly multidimensional 
vibrational and electronic spectroscopy that's being now applied to study protein folding, uh, structural aspects of biological systems and energy transfer um, at, a, at a really unprecedented level of, um, of, uh, of precision that we can address questions. And so I think that those techniques are going to be able to revisit a lot of fundamental problems. They already are being used to revisit a lot of fundamental unanswered problems that have really been goals for the field of uh, biophysics for decades, but potentially able to answer those by this kind of, uh, I think, a, a marriage of a very high level experimental methods and modern computational techniques, as well as advances in theory that uh, can, can work together to address, uh, address, as I said, these biological questions, but, but uh, at a level that we haven't been able to, to uh, reach in the past. And in a general sense, this fits in well with JCP and, and your role at JCP? I think so. I mean, I'm incredibly excited to starting this role as associate editor at the journal. I mean, one of the reasons is that I have a long history of public publishing in JCP. It's always been a journal that's been sort of the, the highest level uh, journal where I've uh, looked to send our very best work, and that's been true since I was a graduate student and where I've learned so much of what I know and what I use in my work as a, as a research scientist. I've learned, you know, spending time with, this, uh, with the journal. But I also feel that, as I said, because of this particular time now where methods in chemical physics, both experimental and theoretical and computational, are really poised uh, and are currently really uh, making a, a significant impact on problems in biology, JCP is a great place to see that uh, recorded because and reported um, because of this long tradition of really fundamental techniques, theory, and experiment that have uh, been used to address fundamental problems in smaller molecular systems, liquids, glasses, materials. I think in biology and larger scale biology is a, is a great next area and JCP is a terrific journal to, uh, to record that uh, progress because uh, the, the long traditions there and this is sort of an immediate ex extension of that. So it's a great, I'm very, very excited to see new manuscripts in this area and, and I see it as I said as part of the extending the tradition at, at JCP. So it's, it's an exciting time for them. Great. Thank you for joining us yeah, today, Dr. Thanks for having me.